Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for a two pipe fan coil unit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. We have another service call for a two pipe fan coil unit. Oh boy, that thing looks like a mess. We have some strange things going on over at the thermostat. Right, if we look closely, it says pipe sensor. Just like blinking. Machine is off. So I got a bloody finger. Put on heat and off. Heat and off. Nothing else. It's 80 degrees in this room. It's definitely super hot. Just set the system to heat just to see what would happen. Still got that weird pipe sensor. And for some reason you can't switch the system to cooling. To me, this sounds like a internal thermostat issue, like maybe the settings on here are wrong, but how did it get to this? Well, what were they doing in here? I always get a call after pretty much they can't fix it. So while they do that, they actually make things a lot worse and a lot more difficult. I just pulled the thermostat off of the base. What I'm trying to do is find the model number. If we look closely here, we see TB6575A. That's the model. There's also a 1000 after that. That might be part of it as well. I'm gonna search this up online and see what we can find. I need to get into the settings. Get into the settings for this one, you're gonna have to hold the function button and the up arrow key for three seconds. Okay, set up. I'm gonna try to go through these and see what's going on. I feel like the settings are wrong. How come we can't put it to cooling? Line voltage, option value zero for 120. Okay, how do you click next? That's the switch. I'll click maybe this. No. Okay, that's that. And then six. Let's see, range is from 55 to 65. Pipe sensor threshold. Changed some of the settings, but now it's something else strange going on. Now it only goes from off to auto. Off, auto. <laughs> What's happening here? We still have the pipe sensor thing going on. I set the thermostat to 65. Currently don't have anything going on at the unit at all. Not even the fan runs now. All right, let's change the system type one more time. Oh. Okay, off, heat. Oh, we got cool now. All right, let's see if it comes on. Oh, the fan came on. All right, so we got the system in cooling. We got 86, 87 degrees in climbing. You put it in cooling, it's going in heat. What is happening? Let's see if I put it in heat. Will the cooling come on? That's so strange. Let's put it in heat. Let's put it in heat and raise the thermostat. Let's see if the cooling comes on. Maybe they have that crossed up. All right, we put the system on heat and it's at 89.4 in climbing. So heat does work, but when we put it in cooling, the heat also comes on. We got a wiring issue now. Who is touching these units? So here's our heating wire. It's energized in cooling and it's energized in heating. So it's gotta be something up with the thermostat. This yellow wire, is our cooling wire, and no matter what, I'm not getting voltage here. 2,000 years later. Just change the setting again on number two. And you can see we have 60 degrees and dropping. So now when we put it to cool, the actuator opens, works off the pipe sensors. That is perfect. The auto changeover, single pull, double throw switch. I call them pipe sensors, but this is great. 59 degrees and dropping. We're not mixing with the heat. Man, that was really weird. Really, really weird. 
All right, man, let's let's set it to heat. Got it. Let's make sure the coolant doesn't come on as well. I'll give this a minute and see what happens. Putting my hand above here. Looks like the stem for this actuator is closed. That's good. All right, let's make sure we're heating. Hope you guys can see, but we got 89 degrees and climbing. So nothing's missing. Now it finally works. Sheesh. I really shouldn't be touching these things. Oh man. Thankfully we didn't have to troubleshoot too much through this. Look at that duct tape in there. Man, it looks disgusting. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let the system run, make sure everything's okay. And that's pretty much it. The moral of the story, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. <laughs> if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.